According to self-made millionaire Steve Silbold, building wealth is a learnable skill. Individuals who have been able to gather wealth today were not born with peculiar wealth gathering talents. Instead, they decided to learn the principles of wealth and pursue them. In this video, I will show you some of these principles which are tagged as risks you should take if you want to be rich. 1. Stepping into unfamiliar zones Undoubtedly, taking the step into uncertainties is very scary. However, it is paramount for the amassment of wealth. You may set goals and create schedules, but if you are not willing to stretch yourself, you wouldn't be able to achieve such goals. The biggest obstacle between you and your goal is your comfort zone. Leaving the familiar ground into the unfamiliar areas involves a significant amount of courage. If you must be rich, you must continually challenge and improve yourself. For it is only outside your comfort zones that you can find wealth. As you grow, your comfort zone expands. So you need to step out into unknown grounds to become more prosperous consistently. 2. Being called a failure Did you know that Thomas Edison, one of the world's most renowned scientists and inventor of the light bulb, failed 1,000 times before he was finally able to create the light bulb. Did you know that Microsoft's founder, Bill Gates, dropped out from school and also failed in his traf o data idea? One primary reason why people aspire but never get rich is that they have big dreams but are often too scared to take the risks of failing. When people look at a rich person, the only thing they see is the glamour. Nevertheless, behind the glamour are the many mistakes and failures. Self-made billionaire Richard Branson said that successful entrepreneurs don't fear failure. Instead, they learn from their mistakes. The successful entrepreneurs you see around today did not suddenly get rich. They too experienced rejection. If you genuinely desire to be wealthy, you must risk being called a failure. 3. Standing Alone a 2016 article on BBC.com reported that although many people will not give up chasing their financial wealth, those who have achieved their dream say that it can be isolating and often looks rosier only on the outside. Yes, getting rich is a desire for all, but one must risk attached to it the threat of being in the lonely path. In your quest for wealth, you may have to face hatred and be despised from jealous friends and family members. Also, there is always a point where you have to perform the extraordinary task of moving away from the crowd. It is quite easier just to follow the group and do what everyone else does. But what everyone else does is not what you need to be wealthy. Hence, you must follow the less crowded path. 4. Getting used to being uncomfortable To create this kind of beautiful life you desire, you have to do things that you have never done before. A lot of people tend to get too comfortable in their early years, whereas it ought to be a period to get familiarized with discomfort. Indeed, no one likes to be uncomfortable, but it is an integral part of being wealthy. Research shows that putting yourself in new and unfamiliar situations triggers a unique piece of the brain that releases dopamine, nature's make-you-happy chemical. This unique region of the brain is only activated when you see or experience entirely new things. Getting comfortable with discomfort gives you a speed advantage. Think about this. When do you move faster? Carrying a hefty bowl of water or pulling something very lightweighted? 5. Letting go of relationships This has to be one of the most vital risks for riches. A famous saying says if you are among six rich individuals, you will soon be the seventh one. Likewise, if you are in the midst of six poor people, you are certainly the seventh one. It does not matter how long the relationship has lasted, if the person's impact is not seen in your life, then you need to walk away. To be productive, you have to move along with wealthy-minded individuals, not those pessimistic ones that will do everything within their powers to discourage you. Another set of people who you need to let go of are those who are so comfortable with giving you fish but never want to show you how to fish. Relationship with such people is toxic.
because they will make you lazy and overly dependent. For you to begin to amass wealth, you must take the risk of killing the attachments you have with certain people. 6. Starting over Imagine running to the top of a building and then discovering that the building you are on is the wrong one. You are not supposed to be there. Would you go to the bottom and start over again? On the surface, deciding to begin again is easy. But in reality, considering the resource, time and energy you use to climb, you might just give up. The reason why some people are not yet wealthy is either they are on the wrong building or are on the foot of the right structure but are too scared to start over again. Starting again comes with its fears and thoughts, such as, do I have what it takes to climb again? What if I climb and discover that I am on the wrong building again? These fears are legit, but there is a need to understand that it's okay to make mistakes. Everyone does, and the fear of making another one should not stop you from starting all over. If you must be rich, you must take the risk of retracing your steps and starting from scratch again. 7. Forgoing Present Pleasures Richard G. Scott once said, Don't give up what you want most for what you want now. Well, in my own words, don't give up your dreams of owning a private jet for some bottles of drinks and designer clothing. Although delaying gratification is a common factor for amassing wealth, it is somewhat demanding. Wealthy individuals are people who can control themselves. They discipline themselves to not give in to the pressure of instant gratification, but to instead think about long-term benefits. If you desire to be counted among the rich, you must be able to look beyond the immediate pleasures. 8. Approaching and Asking Since many individuals are scared of rejection, they find it difficult to ask for the help that is required to boost their financial life. Denial is a feeling that every rich person has to deal with. Undoubtedly, it hurts to be rejected. However, it is more heartbreaking to allow the fear of rejection to stop you from attempting to ask for what will make you productive. A famous quote by Mark Twain says, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. So, throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor. If you don't attempt, you will never know. Little wonder why the rich damn the consequences and just ask. Although the step between them and their breakthrough may just be in the asking, many individuals will instead remain poor than risk getting rejected. No man ever made himself rich. Wealth comes when you dare to approach those whose impact will aid your success. If you want to be rich, you must dare to ask. 9. Burning Bridges this is by far the most dangerous risk to take if you want to be affluent. In his book, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill shared the story of Edward C. Barnes, whose ultimate desire was to work with Thomas Edison. It was said that Edward vowed to himself with these words, Here is but one thing in this world that I am determined to have, and that is a business association with Thomas A. Edison. I will burn all the bridges behind me and stake my entire future on my ability to get what I want. This situation is akin to saying, putting all your eggs in one basket, which of course is an insane thing to do. However, the reason why Napoleon Hill advised to burn all bridges or block all exits is so that you can fix your mind in that which you desire and pursue it with every ounce of strength within you. It is so that you will make your dreams and obsessions that you cannot back out of. Ultimately, if you want to be rich, then you should yield to the words of Benjamin Graham, who once said, Risk what you can afford to. Great men, they say, are not extraordinary men, but they are ordinary men with extraordinary determination. For sure, there are times when you will lack the courage to continue, but always remember, you are stronger than you know.